Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be looking at how Data Suite can be integrated to your CAD system in order to produce the production bomb while respecting phantom items or phantom assemblies that are present within the product structure. Now, first of all, let us understand what phantom assemblies are. So, many of the times, what we see is the product structure contains several assemblies and components. Sometimes, the subassemblies that are contained within them do not have a physical significance, which means that the subassemblies are used merely to represent grouping of items. In such scenarios, such assemblies need not be processed in the production bomb. Hence, when such subassemblies are indicated within the current structure, ERP system often processes them by dissolving that subassembly while promoting those components that are contained within it to assembly that supersedes it. In this product structure, let us now see how the assemblies or the subassemblies are comprised. So what we see in here is a small steel stand assembly. So there are four legs as well as a top frame comprising of four components. And there are about eight instances of a subassemblies called corner joint. So if we open up the corner joint subassembly within the CAD software, what we see is it in turn contains one instance of the plate that was welded and two weld pieces as such. Apart from this, the assembly itself has no structure or no physical significance. With reference to this product structure, let us now go ahead and assign this particular subassembly to be a phantom item. We have a flag setup that's phantom where we can set it as yes or no. Let us go ahead and set it as yes. So what that means is when it's set to yes, components that are contained within the assembly should be promoted superior to parent, which means that in this case, these three items one instance of the plate and two instances of weld piece contained within each joint assembly should be promoted higher up the order so that it's a direct child of the steel stand assembly. The instance count here should now be appreciated. Subassembly, since we have one instance of corner plate and two instances of weld piece, that should be multiplied by the number of instances of the corner joint that actually exist in the main product structure. We should find about 8 pieces of the weld plate and about 16 pieces of weld pieces. So let us now go ahead and see how Data Suite can help us dissolve or respect phantoms and promote the item. Let us now go ahead and click on Process Phantoms. A small pop-up comes up near the triad showing the integration that has been triggered. Let us now click on the View Job link, and on the login page, let us use our username and password to log in and view the job. So we see that a specific job is created in the Log Viewer website, and by clicking on the link, we can see the processing of, we find that PIO, which stands for Product Information Orchestration. We see that the product structure, what we also observe within the product structure that is extracted, we do not find the corner joint assembly. However, parts that exist within that particular subassembly are now connected to the main assembly as a direct child. And as well, the quantities are now multiplied. This is how Data Suite can be used to process phantom items present within the product structure. In a later video, we would be demonstrating how Data Suite can be used to push product structures into an ERP system.